In this problem, we need to solve for x, and there are a couple of steps to do that. First of all, we want to get x alone on one side of the equation, and right now we've got this plus 23 hanging out here. So we want to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of it by doing the opposite. So we're going to write minus 23, and because we want to keep the equation balanced, we have to do that on the other side of the equa uh, equal sign too. So positive 23 minus 23 is just 0. We won't even write it. We'll just write negative x. And 100 minus 23 is 77. But we're not done. This does not say x equals 77. It says negative x equals 77. So what do we do when we have just a negative x over here? Well, one thing to keep in mind is that a negative times a negative is a positive. And that's what we want is a positive x. So if I multiply this side by negative 1, the 1 won't change anything. 1 times x is still x. A negative times a negative is a positive. Aha, so we get positive x. Of course, I have to multiply by a negative 1 over here as well. 77 times a negative 1 is negative 77. So x equals negative 77.